If you haven't seen part one, please click here. Thank you. Abusive and violent behaviours are chosen by a woman to either cause physical, emotional or sexual damage, worry or fear. Women who believe this way are often promiscuous, selfish and narcissistic. Such a woman uses her moods, rage and impulses to control the people around her. And she is not satisfied until they have noticed her. These women use deceit, fury and assault to get their own way and then revels in the addicting, exhilarating emotional unrest they create. Others, more insidiously, present a personable public image to conceal their character and behaviour. These women like and extort to insult and humiliate their partner. Some argue and use offensive language in the presence of others. Many steal and destroy their partner's possessions. These women are driven by jealousy and view others as rivals. They treat their partners as possessions and strive to isolate them from friends and family. Many abusive women falsely accuse their partners of infidelity while they have affairs. These women often abuse children or animals. Nearly all exhibit erratic moon changes, feign illnesses or injuries, and most are practice actresses. They are playing the triple role of terrorist, tyrant and victim. At some point she will falsely accuse her partner for a crime. Now the domestic violence accusation has become the woman's weapon of choice. Domestic violence is so easy to fabricate and these women crave the pleasure of destroying their partners. People who have experienced abusive relationships often experience fear, shame and bewilderment. They have tried everything and nothing works. These people have found themselves not knowing what will happen next. Riding on an emotional roller coaster, they cannot escape. Most are sad, depressed, humiliated, and just plain exhausted. Many have lost everything they had in the world and are now afraid of their future. However, women have no limits. Their behavior escalates to unbelievable levels, and so no one believes the victim. US mental health authorities recognize 10 personality disorders with considerable overlap between them. Many feel that five of these disorders play a significant role in abusive relationships. For example, a common trait in narcissists is that they lie, take advantage of others to achieve their own end, and their public and private dispositions are very different. So some therapists may not be able to recognize a narcissist. Narcissists rarely seek treatment. They believe that they are always right and so are extremely resistant to treatment. People with narcissistic personality disorder can be very abusive and violent. One of the first signs men notice is the sense of forebonding. Other men report that their relationship with their partner was normal and uneventful until one day she became arrogant, selfish, argumentative and mean. Some men have reported that their partner's behavior changed abruptly after the first incident of abusive behavior. Other men have reported that their partner's behavior changed for the worse over time. The following list will be talking about the behavioral traits of an abusive person. Most abusive individuals exhibit three or more of these behavioral traits and they are repetitive. This is not the complete list since it has traits that apply to married couples with children or couples who live together. These traits didn't apply to me so I removed them and emotionally abusive marriages is a topic of its own. If you want to see the full list, go to the sub bar below and follow the link. Makes false partner abuse charges. Falsely applies for a restraining order. Feigns helplessness or illnesses. False or self-inflicted injuries such as burning, cutting, breaking and bruising. Unsuccessful suicide attempts, threatened suicide, engages in unlawful activity, bruises easily. Some people bruise or bleed easily than others. The cause of this phenomenon involves genetics, age, gender, body build and occupation. That's why those who exhibit these symptoms should see a physician. Abuses blood thinners. It can be the true cause of bruising and bleeding, especially in the context of a domestic violence. Uses illegal substances. 
flirts with others seductively in public, adulterous or makes false accusations of adultery, sexual battery, groin attacks, etc. Initiates unwanted sexual advances, constant nagging or yammering, repeated questioning, exaggerated sense of entitlement, exaggerated sense of self-importance, isolates you from family and friends, makes disparaging remarks about you, disparages your relatives, disparages your friends, tries to ruin your employment, prevents you from sleeping, causes you to be chronically late, repetitively calls you at your place of work, violates your privacy and meddles with your private matters, intercepts, steals or opens your mail, withholds or hides your possession or medications, steals or destroys your possessions, tracks your mileage, time and money, steals from your private money and accounts, forges your signature, contrasting public and private behavior, kills or tortures pets, treats you as a slave, denies their own abusive behavior, coercion by threats or action, threatens to leave or orders you to leave, uses others to assault or batter you, threatens to call police if you do not obey, repeated attacks on your sense of worth, chronic rage or anger, stalking not only physically but virtually online, pouts and sulks often for long intervals when they don't get their way. They are accomplished actresses, seeks to control everything and everyone, engages in melodramatic behavior, chronic lying and guilt, erratic mood swings, chronic binges on food, uses several names, ages or birthdays, causes physical and emotional battery, causes public humiliation and often threatens to get their own way blames you for their behavior, selfish and arrogant, ascribes their own conduct, ideas and impulses to you. Such psychological phenomena is called projection. It applies when the person does it unconsciously. If the person does it willfully, then it's abuse, not projection. The if I can't have you, no one will mentality. Treats others with contempt. Hostility while in any forms of transportation. Lacks genuine remorse. Even without explaining much, I know you have come up with lots of examples from your personal experiences. My previous partner exhibited 52 out of the 63 behaviors on this list. Click over here to see part 3 of this video. Also, go to the underbar below and check the links that I provide. Also, if you have any questions, either comment or email me at this following email address. Thank you for watching part two.